To start off really quick, I want to say that you go and click on the top link in the description of the video and go watch CoffeeZilla's video for yourself because not only does he need the support and not only should you watch the video for yourself and come to your own conclusions about it because it's also just an insanely good video that goes over a lot of different details that I'm going to be trying to give my best version of a TLDR as best as I can, but ultimately he just needs the support, especially considering that he's going to have to pay for the lawsuit out of his own pocket, which we'll talk about in a little bit, so I would highly recommend Mendy also go into the links in the description of his own video and either support his Patreon or go buy something from his merch store because he is really going to need the funds in order to combat against Logan in this lawsuit. So to give my best version of a TLDR as quickly as possible, pretty much Logan is suing CoffeeZilla so he can dodge accountability for CryptoZoo. CryptoZoo was this huge NFT project created by Logan Paul and a few other compatriots and they were trying to create this game where you buy tokens to buy to get NFTs and and then you would be able to sell those NFTs for profit. But it ended up being a huge scam and a lot of people ended up losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. CoffeeZilla ended up making a few videos talking about the entire situation as a whole. Go check those out for yourself because he goes way more into detail than I ever can in the short amount of time that I have. But pretty much since after that situation happened where CoffeeZilla exposed the CryptoZoo NFT project, he has basically been saying that Logan needs to pay back the people that he had scammed because a lot of people still haven't been paid back for the money that they had bought into CryptoZoo. A couple of people have, but most of them have not. Not. And that's the reason why a lot of people are actually currently suing Logan Paul because they still haven't been able to get their money back. So what ended up happening afterwards, Logan decided that one of the things that he wanted to do was to go ahead and sue CoffeeZilla for that specific reason. It wasn't because of the videos that he had made about CryptoZoo specifically because Logan knows that he can't do that because there's irrefutable evidence that proves that he did scam people. No, it's specifically because of the fact that CoffeeZilla specifically is saying that Logan needs to pay back the people that he had scammed scammed, which is absolutely insane to me because we already know that Logan has all these other avenues of revenue to be able to make hundreds of millions of dollars. Prime alone made like a billion dollars, I think either this year or last year. So he has more than enough money to be able to pay off the shares that people bought into for CryptoZoom. But for some reason, he's just not doing it, which is very weird. So he's trying to dodge accountability for paying back CryptoZoo. That's the first thing. But I also want to talk about a little bit as to why CoffeeZilla needs the, the funds to be able to go and combat against Logan with his lawsuit because he went and asked his insurance to help pay for the lawsuit but they refused to do so so he has to pay out of it out of pocket and because logan has millions of dollars to be able to pay for the best possible lawyers coffeezilla needs as much fun as he possibly can so that's why i say that you should go and check out some of his merch and if it interests you go buy some of his merch or if you don't want to buy any of his merch because it doesn't interest you go and support him on his patreon because we seriously need to support coffeezilla in this whole thing because logan paul is an absolute fucking scumbag for trying to dodge whatever accountability that he has because he's been trying to place the blame on the two people that he was working with but those people don't work for him anymore they don't work for crypto on CryptoZoo anymore. So the only person that can take accountability for what happened with CryptoZoo is Logan, but he refuses to do so, all the while saying that he's going to end up releasing the game so that way people who still bought into the project can still use the money that they spent on the project on the game itself, but a year later, and he still hasn't released the game. So... People are still out of money. He refuses to pay people back with the money that that he so desperately needs to in order to get back the good faith amongst the community. But now he's also threatening CoffeeZilla to not talk about an entirely different situation in regards to a company that Logan also owns, which by the way, I'm not saying that all of this is true. These are at most allegations, but they're not verified in any sort of sense whatsoever, but it's about Liquid Marketplace. And I could talk about Liquid Marketplace and what that is, but like I said, I would highly suggest you go check out CoffeeZilla's video. On a platform that I co-founded called Liquid Marketplace, it allows co-ownership of top tier assets. So instead of one person, me owning this card, we as a collective can co-own it together. This was a fractionalized collectible platform where Logan sold things like roughly half of a $5 million Pokemon card. The idea was you could buy tokens tokens that represented partial ownership in rare collectibles. Uh, that video, by the way, got 8 million views. But what Coffee did was that he actually learned about some of this information, such as misappropriation of funds, which is a little bit different from embezzlement, but it's misappropriation of funds and fraud. This was being investigated by the Ontario 
uh, security committee. I think that's what it is. Coffee figured out a whole lot or had heard a lot about this uh, evidence and uh, allegations and rumors and obviously it wasn't very verifiable so he went to two people that could actually speak about the situation and that was the CEO of the company who he tried to get into a meeting with but pretty much just dodged whatever whatever opportunity there was to actually talk to Coffee in a meeting. So he went to go ask Logan about it and when he went and asked Logan about it with a couple of questions, the very next day, he ended up sending a lawsuit towards CoffeeZilla in which he's threatening threatening him for saying that he needs the payback for CryptoZoo and that if he talks about Liquid Marketplace at all and the information that he has about Liquid Marketplace, Logan Paul is going to sue him for that too. It's pretty He's pretty much threatening him to not speak about it whatsoever. So legally, Coffee can't talk about Liquid Marketplace or else he's going to get sued for that as well, which is going to cost even more money just to counter against that. But he now has to go against Logan in this lawsuit about CryptoZoo and the fact that Logan just refuses to actually pay for it. I honestly am not even surprised how far Logan is willing to go to not take accountability. There are a lot of things before in the past that he's done that are absolutely despicable and he just refuses to take accountability for it whatsoever. He was already being like outed and exposed for a couple of other crypto projects that he had been a part of as well. And then CryptoZoo just so happened to be the biggest thing that he had been investigated for and he still hasn't refunded any of the money that he said he was going to. Multiple times he said that CoffeeZilla did his due diligence and is a nice guy whose heart is in the right place. And he did the thing that he was supposed to do, which was look look at a scam that's actively happening and is trying to make sure that the right thing is happening. He's actively been trying to make sure that Logan does the actual correct fucking thing, which is to refund the people who got scammed the hundreds of thousands of dollars that people don't have because of him and this whole fucking crypto thing that he created. And a year later, he still hasn't done it. Logan Paul is a fucking scumbag. He's he's absolute fucking scum. I can't believe that he still refuses to do this. I can't believe that this is something that still is being talked about a year later. I thought this would have been resolved by now. I thought Logan would have done the correct, the objectively correct thing, but for some reason he absolutely refuses to do so and refuses to take any sort of accountability whatsoever. It's ridiculous. Uh, in regards to the Liquid Marketplace thing, of course, like I said, at most, at best, it's allegations. But right now, from what we can tell, there's a lot of evidence that's not uh, that's not verified, right? There's a lot of evidence that could be true, could not be true. But we may never know because Coffee can't ask anyone about it because they simply refuse to. And if he continues to keep trying to investigate this whole entire situation and talks about it in any way whatsoever, he's going to get sued for it. So there's nothing that he can do about it. Maybe someone else in the future, maybe for whatever reason, Mudahar might actually do some investigations about it, maybe ask a couple of questions, but he might end up getting sent in a lawsuit as well by Logan Paul. So... Yeah, this entire situation in regards to CryptoZoo just continues to get worse and worse and worse. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Logan is an absolute fucking scumbag. I, I I don't understand how anyone still supports him after this. He needs to absolutely do the objectively correct thing and pay back the money that he owes. But he's probably never going to do so unless he, we help CoffeeZilla fund this lawsuit and make sure that he wins because this is a huge fucking thing that's happening on YouTube right now. CoffeeZilla deserves all the support right now. And yeah, I, I, like I said, go and support his Patreon. Go buy his merch. Support him in any way you can because he absolutely, absolutely, absolutely needs it. And yeah, like I said uh, as well at the beginning of the video, if you want to know a little bit more information in regards to CryptoZoo and a couple of other stuff, uh, and in regards to also just like some other crypto scams that CoffeeZilla has exposed before in the past, go and check out CoffeeZilla's videos. He's one of the few like investigators on YouTube right now that actually does the due diligence and finds a whole bunch of stuff in regards to research, and he does a lot of really deep dives into like facts and statements and clips he's incredible right he's one of the best journalists out there right now on youtube he he's he's doing the thing and he needs the support so yeah that's pretty much it uh logan if you're watching this you're a fucking scumbag and you need to do the right thing but you're probably not going to and you're probably not even watching this video so i'm probably talking to fucking nobody so yeah that's pretty much it uh leave a like on the video if you enjoy it subscribe if you want to see more please turn on notifications so you don't miss another video i'll see you guys 
In the next one, I'm out. Peace. So as I was in the middle of editing and rendering my video, I had actually gotten a ping on Discord and it was from my buddy Pedro, who I mentioned a couple of videos ago to shout him out because he was about to hit a thousand subscribers. And he let me know that Logan Paul had tweeted out that he was going to be in another lawsuit with another WWE wrestler by the name LA Knight. And Pedro, he's a super mega wrestling fan. I'm sort of casual about it. I don't really pay attention to a lot of stuff that happens in the wrestling world or too much. I just casually look at it every now and then. But he's a super mega wrestling fan and he notified me about this and of course the main reason for this is because of kayfabe at SummerSlam a couple days ago i think actually no it must have been a couple days ago uh, la knight trashed up his prime van when it was in the garage when they were at SummerSlam in ohio because that's logan's hometown or home state rather and like, of course the main thing of why he's doing this is because of kayfabe but i think the real reason why he's doing this is because he's trying to divert all the news sources to go from talking about his lawsuit with coffeezilla to instead talk about the news information that he's suing another professional wrestler la knight and the first thing that you see when you search up logan paul lawsuit is his lawsuit against la knight so this is his way to be able to try to diverge all the information being talked about in regards to coffeezilla and that lawsuit to talk about something else entirely and i'm sorry for my voice <clears throat> it's a uh, i've had to talk a lot recently so it's a a bit shot right now but holy shit this is just insane just in, and it's really annoying too because this happened as i was in the middle of rendering my video but this is insane behavior from logan and it's even more evidence that shows that he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that he doesn't do the right thing and i'm gonna say it again logan you're a fucking scumbag See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.